Now oh, these things are fantastic for that. Yep. I mean, they haven't got a lot of power. That's sufficient but, for but, these but quick these drives. Little, Yeah, they've used a bit of silicon by the yeah, yeah. Put, this is yeah silicon the yep. things there. Right. God, I think I might give this a bit of a clean, obviously. Yeah, before, once it's, um, it's removed, yeah. So where's uh, we need a screwdriver, yeah. don't we? Uh, Oh, here we go. You got it? Yep. Here we go, beauty. Oh, Oops, oil. let's sit her up. It's funny, there's a bit of oil, but there wasn't uh, well, there wasn't any when I removed the... Yeah. Now, I think it would pay to actually drain that oil. Yeah, definitely. So do you want me to bring the yep. container over? Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. There's a bearing. Okay. You hold one side and I hold another. Right. Okay. Oh, it's got some colour. TC three eight four one. Oh, you that Googled could be that. that could be the um, the other one. No, nah, because that's this is the other one I think. R five seven one eight ninety. All right. Anyway, it's the nine mil, isn't it? It's not, the nine, nine mil, not the twelve yeah, mil. FTC. Yep. I bet you it's three four eight one or three yep. four eight. So now we're all clean, ready to install the seal. We'll put a bead of silicon, RTV silicon, around the edges there to seat it in, and we should be right. Okay, so we've got. The old seal. I don't know where the spirits will affect the seal. Right, using some of that around the edges. So that's all dry in there, so that's fine. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, there we go. Get around. This side, I think it needs to be um, pressed in, Pete, my side. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think good. every time we move the... Yeah. That's yeah, why that's we need the, the retaining. Yep. Uh, what do we take? No. Yeah, no, there's only one way to put these things. This is going to be. Nope, that's not it. So we begin. <laughs> How many turns will it take? Yep, that's good. it. That looks that looks better. Yep. Okay. Right. Now these are supposed to be torqued up to about six newton meters or something like that. So yeah. Well, we can find out now. And um, yeah. Mind you, I don't have a small enough torque wrench, do you? No, I didn't even bring mine. Mine, I think. What, what's yours down to? Uh, it, because it's a larger one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. I one reckon that the larger ones aren't. Accurate anyway, yeah. Nah. So I think we'll just have to probably apply the um, appropriate, yep, consistent, yep, hand torque. And then it 
hasn't moved, has it? No. No. So the preload's still all on. Yeah, gently, gently. Yeah. Probably could have put those bolts back in just as a, a safety measure, but now we can use Yeah, your, it looks um, like it, it comes quite loose. Yeah, do you want to... Two, two rattles. Yep. Like we can always, um, so, I can always check it with a. Yeah. Yep. No. <laughs> Bit over. It's all right. Okay, it's set pretty low anyway. Yeah. So I'll just check it. Um, yep. It's got a whole lot of. That's right, I'll clean it all up again now. Okay, so Pete and I finished putting in the, um, the bolts there and on the top and of course on the brake caliper. I can't quite remember whether I've said you actually do have to take these two bolts out and the caliper out because you've got to slide the entire axle out with the, with the assembly as you saw in the video. So what I'm going to do is just put these back in front the back one then after that it's going to be um, filling it up with the um, gear oil up to the level put the tonneau back in and um, that should be it um, so basically the reverse of the installation at the beginning of the video so I don't think I need to worry about wasting your time showing you how to do that again but I'm um, pretty happy with it and it was it was great to have um, Pete help out Pete from um, the Oro forum Disco Pete always always great to have another pair of hands to help Alright, hope this video is of use to you and uh, more to come.